Now we have a keynote presentation, contribution of JSP in metro and railway sector. We have Mr. S.K. Pradhan, VP and BU Head, Rails and Special Steel Solution, General Steel Power. Mr. Sushil Kumar Pradhan is an accomplished business leader leading the rail business vertical of JSP. He has an experience of more than 27 years in sales and marketing of steel products. He started his illustrious career with Steel Authority of India Limited and from last 10 years associated with Jindal Steel. He is an expert leader involved with many of the key products in JSP. He also leads the business transformation and strategy group in JSP. At present, he leads the rail, fabrication and cast round business of JSP. Under his leadership, JSP has forayed into rail supplies to metro and new grade developments for growing need of Indian Railway. Everyone, please put your hands together and welcome Mr. S.K. Pradhan, VP and BU Head. So we request you to please join for keynote presentation. Good morning, uh, Sri Kausal Kisorji, uh, Honorable Minister of State for uh, Ministry in Urban Housing. Uh, Sri Dinesh Kumar ji, uh, uh, member uh, uh, rolling stock in Indian Railways. Uh, distinguished dignitaries and uh, delegates. It's an honor to be part of uh, such an event where you know, all the industry leaders are present and uh, uh, we have an uh, opportunity to interact face to face with uh, all of you. There can't be a better uh, time to discuss the challenges in urban rapid transport in India. India is the sixth largest economy at, uh, in the world and we have a, we have a very powerful and uh, stable government at the center and we are, we are very soon reached to a five trillion economy. Uh, with uh, so much things happening and uh, so much uh, movement happening, you know, India indeed is the place to be in the coming times. While uh, in the past, uh, Services uh, India, India the growth was mainly led by services, but now what we are seeing is with the global supply chain disruptions and with the war happening, you know, and the geopolitical tensions coming, India's position as a very stable economy and very stable supply chain uh, 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 supply base uh, is a great advantage. And what we are seeing is many global companies are uh, thinking and putting strategically, you know, are becoming part and shifting their bases to India. Uh, with uh, with this rapid growth, whatever is happening in India and whatever we are seeing, there are challenges of its own also. We are saying rapid urbanization is one of the major challenges is, is, uh, our system is facing over the year. We are, what uh, the industry experts are saying, by 2030, more than 40% of India's population will be living in urban areas. And therefore, uh, therefore uh, this type of event we are discussing the problems is an important event. You know? This type of rapid urbanization also also brings a need for a robust infrastructure for mass mobility, uh, where uh, rail-based urban tra transit system seems to be the most viable mode of transport. You know, it is fast, it is efficient, it is environmental friendly, you know, and uh, it reduces our carbon footprint as well. And the problems which we are seeing, the city like Delhi, where uh, every winter we see smoggy days and pollution hit, you know, this type of rail infrastructure is the solution for the day. In recent years, we have witnessed there has been substantial investment and growth in metro sectors. Today, we have a metro network of almost 730 kilometers. It's operational in 14 cities. And then we are seeing close to 800 kilometers is under construction, you know, which is covering almost 10 more cities. So this type of, uh, this type of rapid transformation or this type of rapid growth in metro sector in last 10 years, in last few years was unheard of, you know, a few years back. Uh, uh, our uh, previous speakers, uh, Sarmaji mentioned that, you know, uh, during 80s, it was, it was, uh, nobody thought that India will have such a vast metro network system, you know, but today we are seeing, you know, many more and more cities are coming. These 10 cities we are seeing, we are, uh, where it is under construction, but we are seeing more than 20 more cities are in the pipeline, you know, where it is in the, either in the concept, conceptualization stage, or it's in the planning stage, or it's in the, in the project uh, DPR stage, right? So, uh, JSP, as a company, you know, we are, uh, we take pride in supplying products which uh, is mainly meant for infrastructure sector. You know, we make uh, all the products associated for, uh, for any of the mass, this type of major projects, like we make rebars, one of the most uh, uh, most popular rebars in the country. We make rails. We make uh, 
steel plates, we make structures used in tunneling, you know, we make uh, fabricated structures. Most of uh, the metro networks you are seeing, a lot of fabricated structures are supplied by us. And most importantly, we are the only company in this country who makes 1080 head hardened rails used in the metro network. We developed this rail in 2016. Initial days, we thought uh, there were a lot of challenges in supplying these rails. And we took up the matter with uh, the policy make initial days since it was entirely coming from, uh, from abroad. Everything was imported for the rail system, uh, for the metro networks. Uh, people thought how an Indian company can supply such a, such a critical item. And every time we were told it's a safety item, you know, so uh, Indian company, how we can trust you. But over a period of time, we, we, we took uh, the experts to our plant. We, uh, we had great help from the railway system, RDSO, rights, everybody contributed in developing the rails. You know, uh, it was thoroughly inspected and now we have supplied to close to six metros rails. You know. We have also supplied rails to uh, critical uh, infrastructure projects, the head hardened rails. You know. We have supplied close to 8,000 rails to USBRL project, the Udhampur uh, Baramula rail project, which is entirely on head hardened rails. You know. so, so uh, one of the most critical stretch of the uh, USBRL project, that is a Chenab uh, bridge project, is on um, JSPL rail. You know, so if these if rails are fit for such a critical project, then we can say that it is fit for the urban transit system as, as well, where the speed does not exist uh, you know, more than 60, 70 kilometers. So uh, initial days, we were told that you know, there are a lot of restrictive clauses, like seven year experience, which is, which, is a, which is type of safeguard which put up in the system earlier. We took up the matter with Ministry of Urban Housing and uh, we are very grateful to the, to the ministry that uh, they listened to us. And then the Honorable Prime Minister's vision of At Nirbhar Bharat, which, which, also, which also compelled us and helped us the, to develop this type of systems. You know. uh, today, uh, you know, India, apart from the metros, Indian Railway, which is a significant uh, contributor to the country's GDP, we are seeing a coal crisis, you know, we are seeing a power sector crisis where due to shortage of coal, uh, the power plants are not running to the optimum capacity. And this is a story every year we listen. You know, every year during the summers we see the same problem. Uh, we have been discussing with uh, the Indian Railway and Indian Railway have been uh, discussing with us, you know, the most important solution or the, you know, uh, how we can improve the railway infrastructure is either by increasing the speed of the network and increasing the axle load of the existing network. So in both ways, you require a better rail than the existing rails. So I'm very pleased to announce that JSP is, uh, has developed a much superior grade than even 1080, which is 1175 HT. Uh, we are the only Indian company who developed this grade. And, uh, and now, uh, with so much focus on uh, increasing the speed of the net railway network, the high-speed network coming in, and the heavy haul routes where the heavy axle load, double decker trains are, the, are, the, are being discussed, you know, this type of rail uh, will be the most important contribution to the railway network. The discussion is like to switch over to completely to this, this type of rails, which is much superior than the existing rails. So, you know, JSP is, uh, uh, has developed these rails and uh, very soon we will start supplying to Indian Railway this type of rails. There are a lot of uh, discussion happening for uh, RRTS projects, apart from metro. So while we speak on metro, there are a lot of important RRTS projects being discussed. The NCRTC we are discussing, and then the Kerala uh, Mass Rapid System, Bangalore, RRTS, and other RRTS systems. So you know, uh, so, so the, the most important thing for this, all these critical projects is the key component is rail, rails. You know, and rails of 1080, rails of uh, 1175, so, so where uh, there, you know, uh, everything gets was getting imported. So now we are uh, we are there to supply or we are there to help the metro networks or Indian Railway in moving to a much superior network. While Make in India, Aath Nirbhar Bharat, or uh, all these campaigns are running, you know, we are there to associate ourselves with the companies in saving a great deal of forex. While uh, in the metros, we have seen earlier. Everything was imported, so everything was placed in a bulk order. Government was losing money. The dispatches were in the large lot. The lead time was very longer. So, but while JSPL can, can help the government in supplying in a small lot, supplying just in time, supplying in a very small lot, and most importantly, since we are an Indian company, you know, 
we can, uh, having an asset of over $10 billion, we will be most cautious in supplying uh, this critical rail, which are, the, which are a very important safety item. So, uh, so uh, I will conclude my, my speech by saying that, you know, uh, while government is putting up a lot of stress on Gati Sakti, uh, Vande Bharat trains, uh, positioning India as a manufacturing and export hub, uh, it gives us a, uh, an opportunity to all of us to contribute making India self-reliant and GSPL is there to help realizing this vision of Honorable Prime Minister. Thank you. We request Mr. D.C. Sharma sir to kindly present a memento to Mr. S.K. Pradhan.